I think I caught some paranormal activity on camera and they were on time with that too. Hey Kelcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies and today I'm gonna be reacting to more of my weird ass videos that I've put online. I've made it my life's mission to produce some of the weirdest content that you will see on your For You page. I don't know if there's like a Nobel Prize for it, but if there is, sign me up. I hope that I can make it there. I made sure to put the line on my lips just to give it more of an uncanny cartoonish look. That's kind of, you know, my signature now, I guess. I just put liquid eyeliner on my lips one day and I was like, this is it. Before we get into it, I just wanna give a huge shout out to our channel members. Woo! We love channel members. Excuse you. <laughs> if you want behind the scenes bloopers and access to exclusive videos, then become a channel member today. The link is down below in the description. Without further ado, let's get into this. Let's dive right in. Let's just dive. Drew, Drew, come dive with me. We're gonna dive into the weird core aspects of my life. Drew, Drew, come dive with me. What? We're gonna dive in, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> What? Where's my seltzer? <laughs> this one's one Dale! of my favorites. <laughs> Dale! <laughs> it took us so long to do our makeup like this. It took us like an hour or two to do it and Garrett sat there and got rid of my eyebrows hardcore. We went all out for this video. I thought more people would notice this, but that's Garrett on the TV from Teen Beach Movie. And I wanted to add that in there as a little like Easter egg or cameo, but only a couple people noticed. How cool is that? Where <laughs> is my seltzer? Damn! I yeah, hope I, I age a lot better than this. I'm gonna have to drink a stupid root beer. <laughs> what are you yelling about? <laughs> hey, it's, that's my root beer! I'm just as upset as you are. I don't want to drink this. Huh? Where's my seltzer, Dale? Huh? Seltzer! I'll show you where your seltzer water. Huh? I'll, I'll show you where your seltzer water went Thank when you, you show me where my root beer went. I don't drink your root beer. So many people thought this was Drew too. They literally were like, you and Drew did great. That's not Drew, that's Garrett. I've tried to have Drew lip sync things. He can't do it. It takes us like 20 tries just to lip sync something. I didn't know that was something that you have to like practice. We'll teach him the ways, but Garrett did a good job I'm on this. I'm it right now. seltzer's gone. Uh, Dale? What? I don't drink your root beer. What's that then? <laughs> so weird. Your root beer. Oh, Let it's me... my root beer. <laughs> <laughs> this one's one of my all-time favorites. Like, we just had so much fun doing this, and I even sold that little vest on Poshmark. Whoever bought that vest, props to you. I hope you wear it, you know, with dignity, because it's a great vest. It's perfect. It was perfect for this role. I really got into character. So did Garrett. I don't know when my next acting audition will be, but this will definitely be in my acting reel, okay? I mean, come on. Dale, where's my seltzer, Dale? For channel members, you have the sticker I made of me being crazy. If you guys could uh, just spam that, you know, a little bit. I just have to say, I went all out on these Pearl skits. If anyone hasn't seen Pearl, you have to freaking watch it. Mia Goth is amazing and it is the Pearl and X and there's Maxine that just came out. I haven't seen it yet. I think I'm going this Wednesday to see it. I hope I got invited to like a screening for it. So I'm hoping I get to go see it. But Mia Goth deserves an award for this series. And I, I tried to embody Pearl a little bit Bit. I think I did a pretty good job. I know you're such a bitch! You're such a fucking bitch! Just peep Lola up there. She's freaking jamming. She's getting it. Getting better. That's just something. This video went like viral on TikTok. If you go to the sound page, it's at the top, which is really cool. And apparently a lot of people can do this with their eyes, which I think is a talent. You should put that on your resume. I'm doing, making music. Don't ask me how I 
did it, I just did it, it was hard. Just... But then there was something weird people noticed, wait a minute. Drew was not home, all right? And I don't know if it was one of my cats or what it was, I don't think my cat would be in the shower, not to my knowledge, but watch the shower curtain in the background. Like what? And the air wasn't on. I don't know how that happened or what that was. Maybe it was one of the spirits in the house. They usually don't move things, but um, I wouldn't put it past them. So I think I caught some paranormal activity on camera and they were on time with that too, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> I had to keep going with the Opal series. I had to portray the mother. I did everything else. So maybe I could do a compilation eventually of doing basically the entire thing of Opal. I just couldn't do like the musical numbers because it's a long process to do even these ones. But if you have not seen Opal by Jack Stauber, you have to go see it. It's amazing. Nothing beats the original. I just do some recreations of some Jack Stauber stuff. Drew and I retook that like, how many times did we redo the part where you drag me and I fall to the floor? Probably like eight times. <laughs> it was fun, I got to like yank you. <laughs> Should we redo it? You ready? It's up to you. I think you had my leg already. So I grabbed it, I yanked it out from under, you fell, and then the second part. Oh, and then we held it. And then get you up. dragged me. Get up. What? Get up. Your face. I can't get up because you're holding my okay. leg. And then I pulled the rest of the way like this. <laughs> when I'm like this. <laughs> Who's that? Claire? Claire? You being a person today, huh? Goodness exists. If I wake Claire and I sit still, it will arrive. What if you had a mother like that? That's just so awful. So the mom in Opal, she's actually addicted to like not good prescription pills. She also has an alcohol problem and she is just not in her right mind. So I was trying to portray that in the best way possible of her just kind of being not in her right mind, trying to drag Opal in and talk to her or Claire, which is, you guys just, I don't want to give any spoilers, but overall it's just a really sad story about like childhood trauma and negligence and abuse and all these things. I forgive every single one of you, every night. It's a virtuous cycle. How did this get so bad? I feel terrible for all the things. I feel terrible. That like effect was perfect too, cause I wanted it to look like she, you know, I wanted to make it clear that she was not in her right mind and that's kind of how it is on the actual video. So I found this filter that was like this trail effect and it look, it just turned out perfect. Just as I envisioned it, or Jack Stauber, I hope that's as he envisioned it. And you, you're just like me. You're just as powerless as I am, Claire. See? But eyes, it always adds something, you know? That's why I do it all the time. If you have not seen this one, I think I won at the weird core game for this. I think I win. I went all out for this video. Just wait, just wait and see. Teletubbies come to play. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. I met the Teletubbies in person and did this freaking Dreamcore Weirdcore video with the actual Teletubbies from the new TV show. Like, that's so crazy. That's wild. If only the sun baby was there, she's probably a grown ass person with like, I think she has a kid and stuff now, but that would be, that'd be great. That's something I'll put out in the universe. Winky. Dipsy. Okay. La la. Yeah.
home. Fun fact, I used to dress up as Lala. I think it was for maybe half a year. I wore this Lala costume all the time and I did not want to take it off. My mom has all these pictures. We have to find those of me in this Lala outfit. And they said that they literally had to like toss it while I was sleeping because I would throw a huge fit if they got rid of this costume. But I was wearing it all the time. It got so dirty and I was obsessed. Lala's an icon though. How could I not be? Teddy Tommies. Teddy Tommies. Say hello. It's funny because I originally brought this idea to the head of Teletubbies, the lady who was like running the scene. And I did a, I wanted to do a really creepy version, but she was like, you know, you can do something, but we kind of want to stray away from the Teletubbies being creepy, which is so valid, you know? So I came up with this concept where I'm kind of this weird little puppet that just wants to be in Teletubby land with all the haunted dolls behind me. This is one of my favorite videos. It came out so cute. Cute. Mommy, how does one become the tooth fairy? Hmm, sometimes it's better not to ask questions. But, but I want to know. Well, when you die one day in the, in the future, you'll know just about everything. I can't wait to show you guys how deep this lore is going. It is going deep. I have like actors that are gonna be in it that you probably know of. I am so excited. It's going deep, okay? I'm still writing it. I want it to be perfect, doing the Tooth Fairy's backstory and stuff, but you know, adding to it. her to look almost not human you know because she's not human she's not mortal what would the tooth fairy be in my mind it's like this what's the word for it would it be humanoid it's almost like this weird creature that it's just you know there's something weird about her there's something off and i add to that offness of her being off i'm also so proud of the way that tooth pull came out and that noise that i made i used let me show you what i used for the noise i used my sd card holder for the noise of the tooth. I think I did that. I opened it, yeah. That gave a nice little crack noise that I wanted. Look at me doing special effects. Look at me go. Warner Brothers, I'm up for hire. Shh, so you want to become the tooth fairy, do <laughs> I don't you? know why I did a British accent. I wanted it to be like, you don't know where she's from. So I kind of added sort of an accent, but then it goes away. I don't know what I'm, we're figuring it out as we go. Here you go, honey. One done, 14 more to go. So the lore as we know it, from this video, she has to go and kill 15 people and collect 15 teeth for the Tooth Fairy in order to become the Tooth Fairy. This one's the sequel for right after the one we just watched. Tooth Fairy. Address? Mm -hmm. The way that shot turned out was so perfect. Me and Drew sat there forever trying to get my mouth open the right way, trying to get his arm angled the way he was writing. It turned out so weird. It's great. Right. On my way. She has to eat everything. That's how she keeps her figure. And the crawling, great exercise. So this is from that same night you just watched beforehand. Psst. Psst. <laughs> so you want to become the Tooth Fairy, do you? So what you have to do is collect 15 teeth from those who love and trust you. I don't care what you have to do to get them. Manipulate, kill, coerce. That's all up to you. Once you collect all the teeth I need, summon me. 
The way she says all that with a smile on her face, there's something so uncanny about that. Have you ever met people where they're super negative people and they just always have this smile on their face? I think that's the most uncanny thing ever when they're like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're just such a fucking bitch. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? There's something weird about it. But I wanna point out a couple little Easter eggs here. So the eviction notice. Okay, the tooth fairy is about to be evicted. She doesn't have enough teeth and she's being chased by the tooth fairy debt collectors. And so she's desperate. She will do anything in order to pay her bills so that she doesn't get evicted, which can also be manipulating a little kid into collecting a bunch of teeth for her in hopes that the little kid will become the tooth fairy. That's rude. So mean. Who are you playing with, sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Oh, who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. I had to do that audio. That was the funniest. I don't know if you guys have seen the original, but it's like this little kid having tea with this old ass guy. I'm Amanda. I'm six. Damn it, Trent. Take that thing out of your mouth. I don't really see how it's hurting anything. Damn it. This one is another Jack Stauber one. This one's Trent the Baby. I think this is the original Trent the Baby, which I love. He has like a bunch of little videos with that. I don't know. I feel like it represents him as a child and his dad, maybe. I could be wrong. It's like a wholesome little thing. But yes, I did buy a pacifier just for when Drew opened the mail. He was like, why did you order pacifiers? He was a little nervous. You know, it was, I was like, it's for me. It's fine. It's for me. You're fine. It's about principle. Plus, your teeth will start growing in wrong. Oh. Well, yeah, you're right. I guess I don't really want that. Yeah, that's right. You don't. Imagine going into a the doctor and you three of your teeth in the wrong place. Mm, yes, uh, I really don't feel that you're the best fit for this position currently. But my credentials line up perfect. <laughs> teeth. I did not know how to do it. I was like, you know what? The teeth have to be growing in from the wrong spot. So we're going to add some tooth fairy lore in here or something. But the teeth. The three teeth, just those. Is this about my teeth? Believe me, sir, this has nothing to do with your See, it goes deep. Teeth. It goes deep. No, there's nothing to do with teeth in a job interview. Regardless, if I see that thing back in your mouth one more time, I'm gonna put you in a cardboard box and send you to Fresno. <gasps> it's like, are there hidden intentions because the tooth fairy showed up? Does he know something that we don't know? What's going on? Why is the tooth fairy there? Why is he okay with the tooth fairy being there? Right? We're gonna figure it out. This one I did with my friend, Emma Ramey. All right, we've done a couple and they always, people love us together in these. They're great. She does amazing job. She's great at being weird and creepy and it's the perfect fit. This apple tastes funny. This one's also Jack no, Stauber. Not. You're just eating it wrong. Let me see it. Oh, you're right. That is weird. I told you. <laughs> you know, I really wish you had better foresight. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a wishing apple. It took me so long to angle that right because I had to be right in the same exact spot of the screen or close to it to try to make it look like the eyes just appear on me because I had to go upstairs and draw the eyes on and do all that and then come back and then sit in front and I redid it like 20 times trying to get it close to the original. I did it. It turned out. <gasps> Oh it was close. It was really close. Gosh. It's a wishing apple. Quick, make a, make uh, a wish. I wish that I had... Uh, Hurry. I wish that I had $400. Great idea. <laughs> do, do it again. I wish that I had $400. Maybe it I was wish just... That it's not... Maybe... It, it's not working. Maybe it was just the bite but I took. I had took. a bite too. <laughs> I think it was just that... That I have. You sure <laughs> it's the apple that did that? I, I assume so. How'd you do I it? I wasn't able to do this earlier. I wish I had $400. Wait, I have an idea. Uh, I wish we understood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one's so good. I absolutely love that one. I don't know the meaning behind it. If anyone's dug into this Jack Stauber wishing apple, what it means, then let me know. I also made sure to buy the weirdest shirt I could possibly find, and I love it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on that shirt. It really just suits me, and yeah, look at there's a ghosty. We got an angel on there. We got an alien. We got like a little bear. We have all everything, you know, all all the entities. 
I love it. I don't know why this one got freaking flagged as sensitive content. It doesn't make any sense. I have pudding on my face. I think they thought it was some, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey dad. I'm coming. You find your Easter basket? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. so, so get back. Get, stand back a little my, bit. My chocolate. Sir, you, you have to my leave. My chocolate. Look how sad. Get back. Get, stand back a little my, bit. My chocolate. Who else has cried over chocolate? I love chocolate. Sir, you, you have to leave. All right? You have to leave right now. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Son, he's, he's still right there. He's, he sang so beautifully that this little boy just didn't even see him there anymore. He was like, where did he go? And the dad's like, he's, he's still there. He's still eating your damn chocolate from your Easter basket, dude. That's bad. How did that guy get in there? I did do a live stream of doing the makeup. I wanted to make it weird, but also uncanny, but not. But he also has a mouth underneath the mouth, so I don't know if that adds to it. Then the pudding all over. I had to throw away that shirt. I really liked that shirt too. I really committed to this one. I'd like to check in, please. Oh my god, where did you come from? <laughs> that audio is trending. That one's short but sweet. And it's happened before. I've woken up to Lola being there and I just had to do it. She kind of looks cute in that one, though. With the big eyes. There's something I'd about like those contacts. In, oh my god, where did you come from? <laughs> those contacts just make it. We got more pearly for you guys. We cannot get enough of pearl. You can see I had eyebrow gl glue on my eyebrows and it was flaking off. It looks like my freaking skin's just flaking. Dude, I look crazy in this. Props to Drew for standing there on like all these videos and just doing weird shit for me. Like he's the one, Aww. that's how I know. That one's short but sweet. We love pearly. I had to do the pearly dance too. Lola was really feeling this one as well. She was getting it. Okay. Can we just go through how Pearl really, she thought she ate this. She thought this is gonna make me a star. Please, I'm a star! right here. As she's slapping her hips, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a star, okay? She did eat, she did eat though, Pearly ate. She ate in her own mind. You know, if you eat, you leave no crumbs. Really proud of her. I went all out on this one. I wanted to make sure I captured her perfectly. I don't know if this is, this is kind of weird core, I think. There's an uncanny feeling to Pearl herself. Just the way she acts and just all of a sudden freaks out. She's definitely psychotic. It's all in the teeth. It's all in the, in the mouth. How to Pearl 101. Eyes big, we gotta, you know, we have all the teeth showing and you have to have this angry look on your face as you go, why are you leaving me if I didn't do anything wrong? You know, you gotta just really get into it. That tear was a paid actor. It was. This original audio is from Asher Garavi and he makes a lot of really awesome weird core videos. So make sure you guys go check him out as well. I did my own take of one of his skits that he did. That was awesome. I love it. This Christmas, protect your child with Look Away Lily. Ever since the government issued warnings due to creatures known as angels, parents have been finding it difficult to explain this creature to their children. However, Look Away Lily is the perfect educational tool. Lily is equipped with sensors that detects when an angel is nearby and tells your child what to do. It's getting Lola looks so cute in this. She's adorable. Look closer. Look down. Try praying it'll leave. It's gone. You did a great job. Lily is the perfect <laughs> gift to keep your child safe, and she's on sale this holiday season. She looks rough. Looks hella rough after that one. And styles. With Lily, you can ensure that your child... It's getting closer. It's 
getting closer. That just, could you imagine if your doll just starts saying, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. What would you do? Do you throw the doll away? What do you do? I thought you said it was working. Why is it breaking? It's getting closer. It's working. It's getting closer. Oh my God, Tito scared me. <laughs> Look down. Tito Look understood down. the assignment. Try praying, it'll leave. Try praying, it'll leave. Try praying, it'll leave. Try praying, it'll leave. Try proud of that one that one turned out pretty good and the acting was i think it was good it was on point it was lip syncing but you know the facial expressions i was really feeling this one we won't see him anymore. Who knows how this song itself is very weird core-esque i see it in a lot of the videos and i don't know who made it but it's perfect Some people turn to strange ones is it up to me to make them into dead ones? So basically she died, she left her body, and she's realizing that her body's laying right there. That would be terrifying. I know a lot of spirits, ghosts, they experience that. They'll literally see their own body. Some of them just accept it, and then they move on to the light, and some of them freak out, don't accept it, and that's why a lot of them are stuck and trapped here. It's a thing, so that kind of plays into it, too. Also, the... Did you see the Lola plushy fall? It just fell over. I didn't touch it. She was sitting there for a while. So I don't know who knocked her over or if she just fell over. Again, weird shit happens. Here we go again. And then it repeats and then she's stuck in this loop and cycle. You guys know I love my weird loops. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. This one was one of my first weird core esque videos I think that I posted. And I named it The Switch. swap well, and then they just do that for eternity they swap i don't know how i came up with that one i don't know where my brain was it actually turned out pretty interesting because it's just this infinite swap and why are they doing it if anyone has any conspiracy theories on it let me know in the comments below it's still raining why is it still raining i no. did what i was supposed to this one's kind of sad it's like she was she was murdered and she's talking to a medium who's trying to help her move on and tell her that you have to just forgive and let go but it's like she was murdered how could she forgive her murderer but forgiveness isn't for the other person it's for yourself and it's for you to move on so this gave some deep meaning that's not fair And it's true, that's true. I added some spiritual things that I've learned into these and when someone does horrific bad things all the time, they will reincarnate back on earth over and over and over. Some people, some souls have been stuck in that cycle for however long. And that's why a lot of people have volunteered to come to earth to help raise the vibrations of earth as a whole and to help these souls that are technically lost souls because they're stuck here doing the same thing over and over making the same mistakes and we come here to try to help those souls move on and get out of that cycle it goes deep Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are 
I think this one's from Doctor Who. I haven't seen it, but if anyone's seen it, then let me know if it's good, if I should watch it. Fast. I don't know if don't it's a movie or a series don't or look what. Away and don't blink. Could you imagine sitting there and if you blink, you're gonna die? That's awful. I don't think I could do it. I could keep my eyes open for a long time, but for that long and if something's trying to come at me and you can't blink, that is torture. I would get one of those eye things that they have at the doctors to just keep your eyes open. <laughs> He got her, but then the conspiracy here is maybe he got her, but it's actually her. But then it got her, but it's actually her. But then it got her, but it's actually her. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. Stay weird and I will see you in the next video.